Hey guys, okay, so today's topic is pretty popular. I see it everywhere. It's reasons why you haven't received your stimulus check yet. Fingers crossed, because I hope you receive it. First thing, you didn't file a federal tax return in 2018 or 2019. Now the IRS will use your bank account information that it has on file to deliver your stimulus payment. If you didn't file, um, they don't have your info and most likely they will send that to the last known address on file. Hopefully that's a good address. Also, uh, if you owed money, there's a chance that they don't have your, your bank account information as well. And so they may send it again to the last known address on file so i will get in contact with them to make sure everything's good your refund went to an old bank account okay they've sent your stuff to an old bank account don't worry about it they will send that back to the irs and the irs will send you your money via the mail uh, again make sure that they have the correct address on file third reason the money went to your tax preparer this one is kind of tricky and scary at the same time uproar outside galaxy tax a similar story from dozens of customers even with the uh, match of information on my on my tax return and the one where they deposited the stimulus check he's saying that no way possible that we can get our stimulus money from him. Sometimes tax preparers will set up like a temporary account and that's where your tax refund will go. And they'll either take their fees if you owe them and they'll transfer that money to your bank account or sometimes they'll put it on a debit card, whatever it is that you prefer at the time. Right now, a lot of people are worried about how they're gonna receive their money, especially if you just filed your taxes this year and or if you received an advanced loan. So you need to contact your tax preparer to figure this out. I wish I could give you more information on what to do, but don't wait for them to contact you. I know the IRS is working with H&R Block and TurboTax to see what they can do to get money to you, especially if you use one of those proprietary debit cards, then they may put the money on there or they may contact you to see if you still have it or reissue another one. So there's a lot going on with that. Please do your uh, best in contacting them and trying to figure out what you can do to get your money faster. Another reason is you weren't required to file a tax return. Some people that make less than 12,000 may not file and, and are not required to. The IRS has created a website for non-filers and that link is in the description. So if you haven't filed, you need to send them your information. You'll need to provide basic information, including your name, your date of birth, your social security number, and uh, for those of you who have dependents, the number of dependents. I don't know why this one makes me smile, but if you owe child support, why am I laughing? Huh. If you're behind on your child support, unfortunately, you will not receive your stimulus check. They are basically taking that money and offsetting any amount that you might owe. And this is through the Treasury Department. So if you owe and you think you should receive a check, that's probably where it went. Uh, some immigrants may not receive uh, the stimulus check uh, because there's a certain criteria that you must meet and you must also have a social security number. Um, this one is a pretty, a pretty broad group of people. Um, if you can be claimed as a dependent, meaning that you get your income more than 50% from someone else, then you are considered a dependent and you will not be receiving any money. Um, that goes for students, that goes for senior citizens. Unfortunately, you will not receive a stimulus check and that person that claims you might get $500 if you are under 17. And no kids, that money is your parents, it's not yours. And the last category are high wage earners for 2019. Whether you are employed or not, you will not receive a stimulus check. If you are curious about your status, you can go to the website that I've linked below and see if you will receive a stimulus check. And if you feel like you need to get in contact with IRS, I would just urge you to do it and do it soon. Now it's time for my favorite segment. What would you do? Okay, great. So this is what I'm looking at. I'm gonna read it to you guys. It's a pickup note from Lyft. It says, patient discharge without a D, from the hospital coming from the main entrance. Patient diagnosed without a D <laughs> with COVID-19 without a dash. Um, the guy asked her, cancel or pick up? <laughs> F 
first of all, do I have to be honest? Ah, uh, gosh. I wouldn't pick them up. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. Because I would be worried. But I know there's someone who's confident that they're not going to get sick. And they're out there to help people. And they would be happy to pick this person up. And to be at ease. And provide the comfort and professionalism that I would be able to muster up. I don't want to make this into a weird thing and make it about me. You need someone that is here for you. So that's why I wouldn't do it. I think that's a good answer. You think that's a good answer? I'm talking to you. <laughs> he doesn't think it's a good answer. Ah, uh, and the reason why I say that is because uh, hospitals are sending folks home. They're not letting them drive and they're not letting their family members pick them up. They're putting people in cabs. They're putting people in Ubers and Lyft. Not everyone needs to be hospitalized. And so they are sending them by way of rideshare. So you should know that. And you probably already know that if you're on the road. I don't think that most people will actually advise you like this. I think this is actually against the law. This is that person's privacy. And so you're not supposed to release folks diagnosis or medical history like this in the first place, which is why I think this might be fake. I actually think this might be fake. This person has really bad spelling. It just seems like something that someone did for fun. I mean, I haven't looked at it in Photoshop pixel by pixel, but it just doesn't seem to be a real note. Uh, but I do know that this is happening and there's plenty of drivers that can attest to it. I've even seen some patients say that they were not able to get a family member to pick them up and they were complaining because they were like, I'm diagnosed, but now I have to ride in a ride share car. Like this doesn't seem right for the drivers. So with that being said, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, it's a great channel, a lot of information. And especially as of late, there's been new stories every single day. So the, you definitely benefit in that regard. If you don't know who I am, my name is Cecily and I have a channel called Drive Girl Drive. You can follow me on YouTube same name or on Facebook. If you have any tips or anything that hasn't been covered, any worthy news stories that you can't find anywhere, please send them to me. I prefer to talk about the things that no one wants to talk about. I'll be willing to do that for you. See you guys every single Saturday at 6 a.m. Appreciate you. Take care.